Hello everyone, Jules Korskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about the Infinity i14 II and the battery holder system and how to tune the battery holder system in a good way. As you know in the i14 II we have a battery holder system and it works very simple. You put the battery in and you only screw the aluminium piece like this so the battery cannot fall out anymore and you adjust it uh, in a way that the battery can flex a little bit so it can move a little bit so between a half a millimeter and a millimeter you have play uh, this way and up so when the chassis flexes when the car flexes during a cornering um, the battery still have enough space to move around and, uh, and so you don't have any tweak in the car um, another thing I want to talk about in this video and that's the most important uh, part is how much you have the battery inside or outside for the weight balance left and right. So for example with a heavy big battery for stock class racing I recommend you to have the, the battery holder the, the stops in the car and I will show you that later. I have them to have them as much as possible inside so the battery is as close to the belt as possible with a heavy battery. So the balance in left and right remains um, equally. So in this way, I recommend you to use on the three spots where we have the battery holder the screw, to use on the servo mount um, seven millimeter, on the motor mount three millimeter and on the back side of the motor mount uh, no shim and here i will show you what i mean and now having a closer look to the car as you can see these are the points where i have the battery stopper uh, here the screw in the rear in the middle on the motor mount and on the servo mount and the screw on the lay shaft and you can see i grind it down about one millimeter shorter so the battery can go all the way inside and it's uh, very close to the belt now for example now if your battery is more lightweight you need a little bit more weight outside i recommend you to add one millimeter on each part of the battery stopper so then i will go to eight millimeter shims uh, four millimeter shims and I put one millimeter shim in the rear so the battery stops are equally again uh, one more thing I forget to tell you if you put the battery all the way inside with a heavy battery uh, you must cut with the Dremel you must cut off a little bit of the screw so the battery don't touch the screw of the lay shaft but it's uh, it's free and it's uh, it's the most inside so in short when you have a heavy battery, you want it very much inside. When your battery is a little bit more light, you can move it a little bit outside to remain the same balance, the weight balance between left and right. Sometimes you also have the special batteries. The batteries are more narrow. Of course, you can also play a lot with the exact position of the battery. Thank you for watching again. I hope you liked my video and see you next time.